All right. So all I did was we said go to the wider category first uh, and then to a narrower category. So, I mean, I've done different attempts. I'll show you. We can go through it. Okay. So first attempt was that just CCD is something consumable and sweet. But then I was like, well, that leaves lollies, you know, like gummy bears and that kind of thing. So that can't be the CCD. Well, it could be. Um, oh, okay. That has to be unique to it. Oh, is, is it the fat also, my question is, if I say the CCD consumable and sweet, they're both different CCDs, right? Because it does be have in common. Yeah. yeah, they're different. But, okay. But let's just think about this for a second. Let's just take the three things you had, the, the orange, the banana and the apple. Yeah. So what is the wider category for one? What is the wider category for what? for those three things there's multiple wider categories uh oh. consumable sweet comes from plants those are the three sure. ccds that i got it's a consumable thing but the consumable could be one thing and what would be the ccd if it was consumable what would be the measurement in common among all of those among those three different ccds no among the three units the orange the apple and the the banana, what's in common? The kind of plant, the kind of plant. Oh, what's in common with those? Yeah, what's the measurement? Like, what are you measuring? Oh, they, they come from plants. Or, I mean, you could say that. Or trees right. or whatever you want to call Perhaps them. Perhaps edibility. I mean, what makes it consumable or not? Like, what are you measuring? Oh, are you, okay, so we're talking about consumable or not. Yeah, um, I mean, you could call them consumable food. And then what, yeah. how would you do that? I mean, what is it that's in common among all those? Among all consumable food? Yeah, at least what would you be measuring if you if you categorize that way? Mm, uh, specific to fruit, <laughs> specific to bananas, apples, and oranges, what would I be measuring? Well, I guess you could say consumability is just a trait it has or it doesn't have. And you could right. say... I'm not sure if I'd call that a CCD and CCD is more like a measurement at least under man's understanding. So you say consumability could be say how, how soft it is or something like that. Like, Oh, I'm using the word differently. I mean, edible, maybe I, I think I just use consumable. Edible, yeah, edible is would be fine. what I was, what I had in my mind when I said consumable. So edible sweet and comes from plants with three CCDs. I had, I didn't quite understand the question you just asked me before though. Yeah. I mean, you could call them edible, but it's the characteristic in common or the measurement in common among those three things. But like that is a measurement you could have in common. So that's valid. You could say that, um, or at least we can say it's a characteristic, but we can think, think about, is it distinguishing at all? Is it, is it something distinguishing about all these? I mean, can you really distinguish anything Say we got edibility now. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah, right. So you can't you say like, but then they're all edible. It's not really distinguishing. It's right. a characteristic, yes, but yes. it doesn't really distinguish any of them. From from something in the, well, you need to distinguish them from things that are similar to them, but not not the same in some way. So, like for example, uh, I don't know what's a, a what's some sweet like a lollipop, like you you need to that's also edible and sweet, but you need to distinguish mm -hmm. it from a lollipop. You need to distinguish it from milk. and Or so, even from each other. Like, how do you distinguish an apple from an orange and a banana from an apple with that same measurement? You, edibility doesn't distinguish a banana from an apple because they're all edible. Color. Shape and yeah, color. Yeah, that's though. right. That's right. You would Shape or color could be CCDs, for example. Yeah. So you can say a fruit is a particular type of shape or the CCD of among those is shape. So then we would say, well, what's the shape of a banana and an apple and an orange? Well, they're all different, right? Right. And they're all distinguishing. Yeah. At least you can tell the difference Yeah. on that alone. But yeah, right. we know there's other things we could use to distinguish. We might say the, I don't know, the, the taste of it might be what you want to use instead, but is that distinguishing enough? Or we could say, does it have seeds or not, which isn't, might be distinguishing bananas don't generally have seeds but then apples and oranges do so that won't do as good a job 
So you might not use that characteristic, but shape can be distinguishing. Shape is, be uh, I'm thinking about it now. It ties into that section on the essential and the fundamental yeah. being different. The fundamental is the metaphysical, the essential is the epistemological. And in this case, for my context of knowledge, since I don't know what plants they come from and the causal relationships between the plants yeah. or whatever, and then you just go by shape, right? That's to your, that yeah. does the, that achieves the purpose. At least for a child, we can imagine from a child's perspective. Well, for an adult lot, too. For yeah, an adult. that too. That yeah, achieves the purpose. You only really need to distinguish the, the color or shape, or we could do it by color too. Like color. apples are pretty distinct from bananas and oranges and oranges are orange. Apples are red and bananas are yellow. And those are very distinguishing. Yeah. And so from that, the CCD would be, what we what would the CCD be then? The color. Yeah, right, that simple. And, but then we could say shape could, but then what do we call this wider category? If we do integrate them all into say color, like this particular thing, you abstract away the color, what are we then talking about? Like the fruit, right? Right. You integrate that all into the you know, fruit, but fruit, what does that say? What would fruit be? Well, what would be the genus of fruit, would you say? It might be that's a much, answer. Yeah, that's much yeah. harder for me. So, well, okay, so we've gone from the CCD to emitting the measurements of color, and we've gone to the concept fruit. Yes. Um, I think there's some there's some knowledge missing, which is you, the only reason you do this is if you felt like there was some essential difference between uh, banana, apple, and orange, or whatever it was, and like lollipop and and other food items. And so, I think for us to then even go through that step, there would it couldn't just be color. Like we're thinking of it without that wider context right. of like there is you know, milk, bottles of milk and stuff that you can eat or drink or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. And so I do think it would need to come down to um, grows on trees. Yeah, I think you're and right. And is like, edible. Yeah. I mean, that would be um, your line of thinking. I don't know if we even need to go into it, but that's what you would then right. think about. Like, I don't know, things that grow on trees that you eat. Okay, right. those are fruit. And you can right. categorize it that way. Things that grow right. on trees that you eat. And then you could think distinguish it from other things that grow on trees. Like you got leaves, you got fruit, you got nuts, you've got flowers. Yeah. They're parts yeah, exactly. of trees. You can think of it that way too. So you distinguish that way. So I mean that's pretty straightforward in the CCD, as you understand, be like color or shape. Whatever it is you choose. I mean, you could discover later that oh, shape is better. So I'll use shape from now on. Yeah. And then yeah, when you, yeah. when you, you know, when I'm like, uh, forming it, uh, what's the word for it? integrating into the wider category of fruit, then, um, I'm still retaining the colors and the shapes, but I'm the key feature that differentiates them is the fact that they grow on trees. That's why they're in the produce section, which has like, you know, other plants and, that, that seems to be some very important, I don't know why, but I guess it is, it's not like you don't find, oh, well, actually it is. Yeah, that's su super interesting. It is the causal, it is one of the mo more important causal factors because like, yes, you know, you can't just leave uh, fruits on a hot shelf, right? Because they're going to rot. Yeah. So you have to put them in the section. That's why they're all in the same section. Everything that comes from trees and plants is categorized and put in that same section. Yeah, as opposed and, to vegetables, you know, which grow on the ground or the whole plant itself and that changes it yeah but they're still those those products are still in that cool section whenever i go into yeah. the store as opposed to you know i can go into a section where it's all dry goods and they sit on the shelf for like 10 days right. and it's warmer there um yeah okay cool that's it's you know i need to do more of these and then obviously make them like start with really simple ones or may maybe they're simple for you but some it actually took me a while to do this and then yeah. just get it through you know like what's it called automate the whole method of thinking yeah i mean then it just becomes easy like you just see like bananas like because I mean, you deal with fruit all the time so it with enough practice it should be pretty quick to do yeah you got the ccd the 
characteristic that's in common, but the particular measurement you is what distinguishes those things. The distinguishing it's still, characteristic. It's still fairly strange. I'm still sort of wrapping my head around measurement being like color can be a measurement, like because I'm so used to thinking of measurement just by association in terms of like numbers, you know. So yeah, uh, I'm still sort of. I'll do more of these and then I, here's my second attempt. Cause I did the first one. I was like, something here is off. And then I tried again and I copied yeah. the sections from the book. Uh, and that's when I said, we must be differentiating these from other foods or tools or from something else. We have to assume we've got food at least. Right. And it can only be other foods we're differentiating from. That's, I think that's where I realized I was having um, trouble with. That's probably when you get to the wider category, like distinguishing apple from orange you might not really need to know that there's other food. Just you're just distinguishing these things. But yeah. if you go to fruit, you probably need to know. Well, I don't really need that category unless I have other foods. Like, why do I need even fruit? I could. It might be just enough. There's like food could just be the category. Like, but why do you need a fruit? Because well, there are other types of foods like you were saying about like dry foods and things like that. You might. That's yeah. one reason you might want to distinguish. That's what might give rise to the need for this additional concept. Like, why would you even integrate those three things in the first place? Right, right. What's the purpose? Yeah, so types of food would be one thing, at least implicitly to recognize that there's food and you're distinguishing foods. Like, otherwise, like, what are you comparing food, like, fruit to? Like, you need to distinguish it from something else. Otherwise, it's just arbitrary. There's no need for it. It doesn't yeah. do anything. So uh, here is, yeah, that's what we're just, that's what we got onto with the, you know, like it's the, 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 the fundamental, or let's go with the essential, the essential for our purpose is the fact that it grows on trees. And therefore that is because it's a relevant causal factor. It contributes to a lot of its uh, properties. And that's why we keep it in, you know, I keep some things in the fridge and it, it helps you think about those things uh, yeah. in a much more organized way as opposed to like I've got some cans under you know bean cans or whatever under my table I'm like I'm not going to put bananas under my table because they're going to rot so it it helps for that purpose is what you're saying basically yeah um okay here's my second attempt when I go into the wider category integration of banana apple orange into wider category the ccd is food uh what no. then is the distinguishing characteristic of banana apple orange which differentiates it from celery, soba noodles, and horseradish. Well, I don't, I think food would be too vague. Like what measurement is food? Like what food is, like, I don't know how to measure that. Like it's, it seems like a concept rather than a measurement. Like, oh, is okay. It, is so edible? The, edibility? Is that but that wouldn't CCD? be really distinguishing about any of those things either. The CCD must be a characteristic that they, they use to become distinguishable. So when you integrate them together, you, like we did before, we could have shape. They're integrated along shape. This shape is the CCD. And shape is what distinguishes them. As we said before, edibility doesn't distinguish an orange from an apple. So it couldn't be a CCD if you're integrating all three. No, no, I meant to, a, I'm integrating banana, apple, and orange into a wider category, not distinguishing between banana, apple, and orange. Yeah, but to put yeah, them into I'm, the wider category, what yeah. distinguishes them is the thing you use, the wider category uses the CCD. The wider category is integration of those measurements into the CCD and what's left is the, it would be a distinguishing characteristic if you specified the measurements. The distinguishing characteristic of the new concept, this is the section I copied that guided me to do yeah. this. The distinguishing characteristic of the new concept is determined by the nature of the objects from which its constituents, constituent units are being differentiated. That is by their conceptual common denominator, which in this case is large objects inside a human habitation. That was for furniture. That was for like yeah, chair. So here what I saw was banana, apple and orange. I'm differentiating from uh, soy milk, you know, soba noodles in packets and horseradish. No, uh, um, I, okay. I think you're differentiating them from each other. 
banana from apple, banana from orange, orange from apple. Oh, that's if I go narrower, but I'm not up to that yet. Uh, isn't that, isn't that if I'm going from fruit? No, oh, but that's if you go wider because you're trying to make the category of these three. What's the wider category of this, these three things? You're comparing them to each other. Let me go over this again. All right, what there? It's not what you use to distinguish them from everything else. It's what you use to distinguish them from each other. The characteristic you use to distinguish them, that's the CCD of the wider category. That's the CCD of the wider category. Ah, uh, okay, all right. So it's back to grow on, grows on trees. Yes. And that would be like a distinguishing characteristic of, I don't know, comparing a fruit to a vegetable. So what do I call the, okay, so the CCD, the, the thing, the conceptual common, wait, now I'm confused because that's supposed to be, oh, okay, all right, I, I get it. So the, the commensurate, so the CCD is the thing that unites these three specifically, not every food product. Right. Um, and in this case, the, the measurable, the thing that is measurable and they all have in common is obviously they grow on trees. And then, so what's the role of what, what is food? Is that a genus? I forget no, now. Yeah, I'm, I'm, slight misunderstanding there. So the thing that they grow in trees would be a characteristic, the distinction characteristic of fruit. We're just talking about these. What, what unites these shape does shape unites orange, apple, and banana. And that's the CCD. Cause that's how you distinguish the, members of that 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 group okay the ccd is the, sh the ccd of banana apple orange is shape and the ccd is what you omit when you go to the wider category it's still there but you omit that precise measurement but you still need to use that measurement like the ccd of these is what distinguishes them from each other. And that's but the CCD. How is shape the distinguishing characteristic of fruit? Like the, the, it's if not I, a fruit if, of, it's not a fruit. It's shape is not distinguishing a fruit. It, it's just a conceptual common denominator. The thing that was in common about the things united. I mean, you, but what's, I what's mean, in common with the shape? Like, uh, you know, you can buy like, a. um, you know, you could buy like a, 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 a lollipop shaped like a banana. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm lost, I think. I mean, like, you could use sweetness instead. Sweetness uh, would be a better one. Okay, let me looking. just think, yeah, I'm a bit lost. Um, yeah, I, I got lost here because later I say that the CCD is food. Oh, I said CCD is food and replaced it with edibility. But it can't be so. We're looking at banana, apple, and orange, and somehow we're, we're trying to. The only reason we put them in a wider category is if we feel like there's some reason they're different from those other things on the shelf, though, right? Like, why else would you need to? Um, well, that's just any fruit from vegetable. Sorry. Okay, the distinguishing cares. Uh, this is from Ito, yeah. This stuff. Okay. The CCD is just an element of the things you're dealing with. The it's not the CCD of fruit. I mean banana apple, orange, their CCD is among those three, the CCD is shape. It is not the CCD of the wider category. No, you're but right the that CCD. The C the CCD becomes the distinguishing characteristic of the wider category. So the CCD would become, so if we say my understanding of this, and I had to keep looking at this, but my understanding is the CCD that you choose then becomes the distinguishing characteristic of the wider category, which would mean if we pick shape, then shape would be the distinguishing characteristic of fruit, but that can't be because it doesn't distinguish fruit from anything else that is shaped you know, in a ball or in the shape of like, um, yeah, somewhat like a banana, like, and so I was thinking, that's why I got to 
uh, to no, but even even food is is wrong. But the point the, the point I was trying to I wrote food, but even that is wrong. The the point the thing I was confused about was okay. Here's what I'm thinking so far. I, actually, let me know what you think. What like what about that? If if shape is the CCD, how how does that then become? How does it make sense for it to be the distinguishing characteristic of fruit? It I doesn't mean, serve do to this. differentiate fruit from other perception. things that are shaped like fruit. Um. <laughs> it's simple, but it's not it. easy. Hey, it's like it's. it's yeah. So you may have the distinguishing characteristic of these units specific memory. Okay, let me just find the definition of CCD. Again. I think it has to be they grow on trees. I think I got it wrong. So CCD is not edibility because. Right, that's that the thing. It, that's the thing. It so Mike. Okay, here's here's what I've got so far. Right, I originally did edibility, but it can't be edibility. We're gonna. I'm rewriting it here. The CCD is um, grows on trees. Let's just go with that. I don't know if it's plants or whatever, but let's just go with that, right? Because then the CC. According to this, it says um, the here. I'll, I'll bold the relevant parts the distinguishing characteristic of the new concepts of the wider category is determined by the nature of the objects from which its constituent units are being different differentiated that is by their conceptual common denominator and so it grows on trees differentiates it from every other fruit product right mm -hmm. It does distinguish. I know it doesn't. I know it doesn't work. I know you mentioned vegetables, and so I, we're not there yet. Yeah. That's too complicated right now for me to go there. But then, what is food? Then what is that considered? Like, okay, the CCD is grows on trees, but the characteristic that it's edible. What what is that? Because that that's what it has in common with everything else. What do you call that? Um, can you repeat that? Sorry. Yeah. So, okay. Like we've got fruit. Uh, what is it? No, we've got, um, what was it? Uh, banana, apple and orange, right? Yeah. Yeah. They are a food. Yes. Yeah. They could be integrated into food as a category. Yeah. CCD yeah. is, um, no, no, I'm not, I'm just writing down. They are a food. Like that is a, a character. Is it a character? I guess you could call it a characteristic, right? Or whatever. It's a food. But we know it's a food. Uh, and the CCD of them, if we try and differentiate them from food, is grows on trees, just for now, even though it, yeah. it messes up the issue with vegetables and that. Grows on right. trees. Are you with me so far on that? Yes. So what do I, what's food then? Okay, the CCD is grows on trees. What do you call food? Like, that's where I think I got confused and I thought, oh, food, CCD is food. But... It's not because we're trying to distinguish that these things from food. So what do you call, what is food? Like in relation to this stuff, what I'm confused about if we're trying to use terminology here to think about it, like. Well, I would think is, fruit is a type of food. I mean. Fruit, yeah, fruit. So is, okay, so food then, uh, these things are an instance of food, right? Fruit is an well, instance would be the particular thing, but fruit is a type of food. I mean, that's how you would categorize it. And then we're trying to differentiate. We're, we're then trying to be more precise and differentiate these things from, we're saying there's something in common with these that makes them different from other, uh, that makes them different from other foods. Is that like, I'm just trying well, to get you, my head around. Okay, I get the CCDs grows on trees, but then what <laughs> yeah that all those things like, well you need other things to distinguish from we need more than fruits before we start doing that we do need these right. other examples of things before right. we even bother to that like if that's all we had is apples bananas and oranges you don't need any category of vegetable or anything else you just have you would just have these three things in food probably yeah. And you distinguish yeah. them on shape. Okay. And then if I'm for, let's say I've got, 
uh, just to throw in some extra stuff here. If I've got all those, so banana, apple, apple, orange, and soy milk, um, then the CCD is commence distinguishing is food or edibility, right? If I'm forming the concept food. Yes. Okay. Well, edibility might work, but I don't know if that would be distinguishing enough. I mean, does that distinguish a fruit from other types of food? Uh, no, 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 no. I, 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 and this one, just to help me get my head around this, I added soy milk. So I could say, and soy milk, and let's just go bread. Oh, right. So just so I'm, I'm getting my head around how, what the relationships are. So if I'm wanting to integrate all these, let's say I have, I don't have the concept of food yet. Um, okay. And I'm like, oh, there are these things that I, I can, you know, when I'm hungry, I eat and they don't kill me and they give me energy or they make me feel better. Then the CCD would be something like edibility, right? Because you're like, I know I can eat that and not feel sick. Does that, am I getting my head around that properly? That's yes. what the CCD in there. Okay, cool. There is edibility among all those things. Yes, and that's the CCD of all those. And then and that that's the property that distinguishes those things from like rocks, for example. Yes. That's what we're saying. It distinguishes them from rocks. Okay, that's, cool. I mean, you would need, and you would still need like, yeah, another comparison to something not edible for this to even make sense. You, like you would throw in rock too. You say all these things, but then it's not a rock. So it can distinguish them from a rock. Got it. Otherwise, if there's nothing that distinguishes them from other things, then there's no point in integrating. There is no valid reason to integrate. I won't get too deep into it because I realize edibility can't be the thing because edibility is already assuming there's the concept food, I think. But right. So, I, but, I, I mean, if you're a child, you would just think, I eat these things. I don't eat rocks. And that's all they really need. Yeah, but they're, they're using something to distinguish what can... It, usually it's parents, though, that will, you know, give them... Like yes. a thing you buy from supermarket or something like that. But we'll, we'll skip that because I don't want to go too deep into that. So, all right. So food is... Th these are foods. But now what we're doing is we've got banana, apple, orange, soy, and soy milk, and horseradish. And what we're saying is we're looking for, okay, we're saying there's something about these things that is different. So I don't know if you can see me highlight banana, apple, yes. and orange that is different from soy milk, horseradish. And, yeah. and just to throw in, uh, you know, a leak. And so we need something that we need a characteristic, a distinguishing, we need something that differentiates these things from these because we're saying there's some causal factor that's that's relevant yes. and that thing that differentiates is the ccd that it's a thing that these things have in common yes uh, but that differentiates them from the rest yes okay cool so what so, measurement would that be might take some creativity but like you said grows on trees would be one way to think of that and if you don't have, if you're not sure where they come from, you could say maybe grows on trees and is sweet. Would that be, that would be two CCDs though. So I don't really know how that would work. I don't know about two. I think, I think you could argue it could be two. I don't think that's wrong necessarily. I mean, you might use sweetness on its own though. Like bananas, apples, and oranges can be sweet. Soy milk is not sweet. Horseradish and leeks are not sweet either. So that could be a, a CCD sweetness yeah but then i can one. i can throw in lollipops in it so it doesn't do its job anymore yeah then we would realize oh now that i learned about lollipops this doesn't work anymore i need to modify my definition i need to modify the concept i have to modify what i have and that's what learning does like you get a new instance you need to reorder things it doesn't invalidate the fact that bananas, apples, and oranges are sweet, but it just doesn't distinguish anymore from lollipops. And you don't so want to include them, so you need to create a new category, perhaps. Given our context of knowledge, like I don't know 
really some fruits grow on plants or whatever. So we're not sure what differentiates it from leeks or some other vegetable, um, like, a, I don't know, like a cucumber. Let's say you don't, you don't know because you've, you've grown up in a city and you just, they just grow on supermarket shelves, according to your context of knowledge. Yeah. What then would you, but you know, there's some, like you do know there's some difference. And so how do you capture that difference still using essentials, but using your context of knowledge, right? So like sweetness won't do because it doesn't differentiate from um, lollipops and then grows on trees. We don't have enough knowledge. So what would be, that's kind of a, maybe there's no reason to differentiate. Maybe you just say uh, natural produce in that context, if you're honest with Perhaps. your own context of knowledge. Yeah, or you might say, I don't know, like maybe you'd like food that comes on sticks. I mean, only a lollipop comes on a stick out of all these. So that's one way you could think of it too. Like like means of eating could then be used instead. Or I don't know, maybe you categorize it as something else entirely. You just I think realize. Yeah, there, there's, there's still a need. I said before, like maybe we'll just call it produce if you don't have the context of knowledge. But there's still a need to differentiate it because if you're preparing a platter, for example, like it does, it does matter that, you know, okay, there's a thing called a fruit, which is sweeter and you can put it in a yeah. platter. Otherwise what you're going to put leeks and nuts and, um, and horseradish or like celery on a plate. And, you know, it doesn't make you need to know, but I, I'm not sure how you would uh, differentiate using a uh, firsthand context of knowledge, you know, without going Googling on the internet. Okay. Where do fruits come from? What differentiates them from, um, lake and tomatoes or whatever else yeah I, I agree with you that is hard and i think one of the readings i found could help answer that kind of question that really does deal with this kind of how do you organize it when you get to those kind of questions like yeah it's starting apple and apple orange it wasn't bad and I, I think maybe i was a bit confused the way i was saying ccd but i think you have it now what a ccd is and i think you have it now and you're right these questions ask like well, at some point it's no longer sufficient. You acquire enough knowledge that, hey, it's not working anymore. Or you might create new categories, new subcategories and things like that. I mean, that's where new ideas come in or new ways of comparison come in. It does get complicated, but that just reflects, yeah, the more you know, the more complex our categories get. But in this case, it's like, uh, one, one thing that's different is that we're relying on a hierarchy of knowledge that we don't have. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like there are all these things and they just seem to appear on supermarket shelves. And so the question is how you treat knowledge where you don't have the full context and, but you're still wanting to make a differentiation. So like, like I mentioned before, like you want to know that banana, apples, oranges and stuff are fruit. But I, I don't really know if they grow on, like where they, it's something to do with plants or trees. But then in addition to that, in my context of knowledge, I'm obviously speaking about myself. Some people will know this. It's something that grows on a tree or a plant, but so does a, you know, a leek or a cucumber. Um, and so to differentiate those, how could you do it? Like I, I just use in my head, I would have sweetness and grows on trees or plants. But is that, can you have two CCDs? We're saying you can't. So then how would you do it if you don't have the context of knowledge, the first hand context of knowledge of where, like, as in you've gotten the end result of the process of the people who know it, but you don't have the full, do you, do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Let's so say, how would you differentiate those things if you don't have the full context of knowledge? I mean, you might integrate to like, say, get the concept flavor based on sweetness and non-sweetness. And then you could use that to then differentiate them. I mean, it doesn't have to be just this. If it doesn't have to be sweetness and growing on trees. I mean, if sweetness could be sufficient. Like, okay, like, well, if you just categorize on sweetness, sure, call lollipop is a fruit. There wouldn't be anything wrong in principle, just categorizing in fruit if the CCD of fruit was sweetness. Sure, a lollipop can be a fruit. I mean, then, eventually you discover it fails to meet the criteria we want it to, 
or does it meet the criteria that other, other people have developed? Mm. Um, but I, but there's, there's an issue, like it's still useful to like, you know, I, I still think in terms of fruit, right? Like I go into the store, yeah. I think in terms of fruit, but here I am not able to tell you where, what differentiates how you get a fruit from a vegetable. Like, I don't know. I'm just, you know, I'm in a 24th story in the middle of a city. Like I don't, I don't know that stuff. And so, but I'm still doing it. Right. So I must be doing it somehow. And it can't just be, it, it must be that like, when I think about it, it's sweetness grows on trees and plants. And yet, but we're saying we can't have two CCDs. Yeah. It's not, it's, there's the one distinguishing thing of the things below it. Like, I mean, the sweetness distinguish just banana, apple, orange from everything else there. But there can be multiple things. And so I'm saying in this case, like it seems like if you don't have the full context of knowledge, wouldn't it make sense to use two or three? Because uh, we're missing something in the process of how these things are mm, cultivated. Probably. I think I'm inclined to agree with you. I think Rand would be too quick to say there's only one. I think that it's too simple. I don't think it'd be more than two or three. It wouldn't be many. I would say that much for sure. Because you need to be able to do it easily and quickly. I think you could argue that it is appropriate. Rand would say one, but I don't think I agree with her. Well, well yeah, I mean, it's it's a question worth asking. I'm not saying she's wrong. Like, I'm yes. still trying to understand 20% yeah, of what she's saying. An, but an open question. Because it's hard yeah. to say. I think it's arguable and debatable. This is one that's good. It's good. So we've got a question, which is good. Uh, and this is the example. Yes. So I will find someone to will investigate that anyway. Yeah. I mean, those um, are good ways to distinguish. So those are two candidates and you might say you always used both that you need both. In the same way we talked about content and action with conscious of consciousness, you got the intensity and you got the con and the content. Those you could say are two CCDs. In the same way you got sweetness and growing up trees. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. And you might say sweetness is a a very important category within fruits. And you might say it's an important distinction, but it's not necessarily the most distinguishing thing, because as you said, lollipops, we don't categorize them as fruit, but they're sweet nonetheless. Or it's like saying birds fly, but a few don't. And it's not necessarily the distinguishing characteristic of birds, for example. What's the distinguishing characteristics, the st distinguishing characteristic of, um, or characteristics of, mm, okay. I think it, what you're mentioning though about the concepts of consciousness is interesting because you're right. In that case, you did point out content and action, but then- yes. When you think of a specific concept of consciousness, does it have two distinguishing characteristics? I usually say yes. Oh, okay. Abstractness and intensity. Okay. I, I like both of those distinctions. And I think they're both critical. I think you need both. All right. Let's uh, maybe we can come back to that later. That's what I think about but that. You one. might say that's for abstract concepts or non I mean fruit isn't exactly perceptual level. Oranges, banana, apple, probably just one for those because it's so basic and simple. It is enough just to do shape or color. Yep. Um, and obviously you retain all the other characteristics like they're soft, they decompose, um, you know, they're not wrapped. They've, uh, they've got certain smells, all that kind of stuff, but it's mm -hmm. not essential. Okay, so here's me, we can, Uh, then I ask, okay, here's my thinking now. I ask what's, okay, so genus is food. Differentia is food grown on trees or plants that's sweet. Uh, and then I, then I ask, what's the fundamental though? What's the essential? Is it all of them? And I'm, my thinking now is the essential will not always be the fundamental. The essential is just what you identify as fundamental in your context of knowledge. So that's an epistemological term if I'm right. And then this is a metaphysical term. That's how I, I read in one of the chapters. Would you say my- I think I read them as synonymous. 
fundamental and essential. Because like, okay, a child, I think that the example I gave in the book was this, a child, when it forms the concept man, initially begins with something like thing that moves. Yep. And for its context of knowledge, that's the essential. But then as its knowledge widens, the, the fundamental of man is not that. The fundamental is, you know, rational animal as far as science and mankind's knowledge is discovered. This was the distinction I remember being made. Mm -hmm. And then the essential is whatever is that characteristic that is fundamental in your specific context of knowledge. Um, and so in this case, the essential is food grown on trees and plants that sweet maybe, but the fundamental might be different as obviously if someone has more knowledge of what exactly is the one thing that is caused for their most differences. That's my answer to it now. Thoughts on that? I don't think that's the way Rand thinks about <clears throat> essential i mean okay i mean you're right it's worth distinguishing what is the way what is the essential that you identify in your context of knowledge and what would be the essential if you had a lot more context of knowledge if you were an adult say but then if if they're two different things then there would be a need to make a distinction i'll try to find it for you i'm pretty sure there's i don't remember all of it but i'm pretty sure there's something in there about the differences between the two but it doesn't matter now we can we can we'll, sure uh and then how do you think about like how do you become very clear on what are the de dependencies and interrelationships like between all these concepts like food tree sweet grow plants like what what how do i become clear on what depends on what and and that kind of thing maybe it's not a good time maybe we can get into this on on it on, if yeah i, I think that's that. a different topic yeah, let's let's. Yeah, it's it. a relevant right. question, but I think that's more a question about logic. I think. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's more a question about logic. All right. Well, here's your narrower the subdivision of fruit. When subdividing, yeah. I copied the the relevant part. When subdividing, the distinguishing characteristic is retained. So the distinguished characteristic is sweetness and grows on trees, and the differentiations are purely a matter of measurement. Yeah. Um, and so fruit grown on trees or plants that sweet becomes a banana grown on a banana tree or whatever it is. That's the specific measurement, right? For subdividing fruit. Yeah. Probably. What and here I, I mean, I got to get my head around. I if gotta, that was uh, the CCD. I got to clarify the, um, well, I mean, for your context of knowledge, though, that would might be the C. Like, I can't couldn't think of anything else that would make sense for a CCD in my context of knowledge without cheating and googling yeah. stuff. Like, I'm trying to only be firsthand, right? Given yeah, my that's the true. perceptual stuff I've seen. Um, and then this is something I probably need to go over because the idea that a tree and a kind of tree is a measurement is confusing to me. But I'm, I don't have the concept measurement well then growing on a tree i think it's good enough for the discussion i think that food grown on trees or you could subdivide fruit along let's see does your characters retain different let me look at the actual context in the book i think you're right color you were going to think of subdivide along yes. color or something like that but then what does that do to the, okay, the distinguishing characteristic is retained and the differentiations are purely, a, but suddenly you've picked like a different, uh, you know, you've got like a different characteristic that you're using. This, this is weird. Abstractions or abstraction? Let's see. What about color now? So dividing. So we got shape. What kind of shape? Yeah, there's an issue here. Hey, like you suddenly you can't subdivide because 
uh, it, you, you have to stick to, you can't use color to subdivide basically. But usually it would be subdividing orange because that's where you'd be starting with. I mean, but that's more what I wanted to start with. Like, well, let's say just subdivide apple first. How would you subdivide apple? Into different kinds of apples. Like there's red apples, there's green apples. Um, yeah, it does seem like color is the distinguishing feature. But the problem is that I, I can't, or it's not the distinguishing feature. The What's the word? It's a the different the, the differentiating feature, the color. Would you say that? Subdividing I would the say distinguishing. Sweetness. If I were distinguishing apples, I would use sweetness or sourness even. Although that's Some problematic for purpose because maybe you want the purpose to be able to pre-select, identify it pre-selectively pre and then, you know what I'm saying? Because otherwise you kind of need to bite into things to figure yeah, out I what. Yeah, I think so. I think there'd be no need to distinguish them unless you tasted it. But I think there's no point to distinguish even to make subcategories other than just like, I got a red apple, I got a green apple. There's no, no reason to distinguish I know. it, I think, unless you taste it. So, but that is a characteristic and and your your the purpose you're, you're subdividing is for future eating. But then what I'm saying is that does that like how does that work with if I just define by uh, taste, then what about when I go to a place and I want to pick and I want to pick one that has a certain taste? I can't just bite into all the apples to like what I'm working out is it seems like this is a whole process of this categorization is driven by purpose. And so if my purpose is to select in the future the right fruit that will give me that taste as opposed to just biting into it, I'll be like, um, okay, here's one that's kind of red. So I know it's going to be sweeter than the one that's green rather than biting into it and finding out. Although what I'm confused by is what you're saying is you, you're categorizing it by taste, but, or I'm categorizing it by color, let's say to differentiate yeah. them, but you still retain the fact that the different colors have different tastes. So I don't know. This um, yeah, is, to be honest, it's so simple. And yet, like, clearly the application is difficult. I'll imagine applying this to justice. Yeah, I mean, at some level, you have to decide, like, take a guess at first, make a mistake, be willing to make a mistake. I mean, yeah, you might use, you might know that sweetness is distinguishing, but you can't taste it right now. So you do the next best thing, which might be color. And then with that, you then taste it and you'll confirm or disconfirm your hypothesis about it, whether it's sweet or not. You might find out, oh, color doesn't help me distinguish. Right. And, or you might say, I'll never use color again. Or you might say, right. color did a pretty good job. Now that I've tasted it, I've finished integrating it. Or now that I've tasted it, now I'm sure. So so then color would be the, uh, the, the, the way you differentiate the different you subdivide apples let's say because you'd pick that as the characteristic that is indicates that it's not causal but it indicates that it's sweeter or sour or whatever yeah or at least you'll say it's the next best thing to use given right. your limited knowledge given right. i don't know safety even it's not necessarily for example safe to taste every mushroom to know what's best in your yeah uh, bolognese sauce right. when you needed some other way to do it first to then right. safely distinguish, ah, it's not a poisonous mushroom. It's a right. good mushroom. Like, But then what's going on here when we uh, integrate fruits according to our limited context of knowledge and integrate them with the CCD of grows on trees and is sweet. And now when we're subdividing, suddenly we're subdividing by color. Like suddenly we've thrown out this whole idea of the distinguishing characteristic is retained and the differentiations a purely a measure of measurement like how do you measure grows on trees and how do you refine that measurement grows on trees and is sweet with color like uh, i'm uh confused with that extra you know um, what i mean because color isn't a type of uh, isn't a, a particular in kind of thing growing on trees that is sweet. It's a completely different property. Color things, sweet things. Something's going on because that's how my mind works, which is not according to this, right? Like introspectively, I think that's how I work. I go by. Wait. 
Yeah, I'm trying to. Just as many characters as taken this. I mean, I think it's appropriate to use other measurements when you, you've gone narrower. One constant okay. going to a wider. Well, it's an open. We'll put that down as an open. One constant to a wider one. It's all right, we'll, I'll definitely, I think uh, I should write about that and get some yeah. thoughts. That's a good, well, see, it's cool because even in doing such a simple little exercise, we've opened up all these questions, right? And we've also, at least I have, I feel a little bit clearer on this process, but it's too easy for it to just to stay like super abstract and you think you get it, but you really don't until you put it in practice and run into problems. Hold on, let me, here's another line that might help from abstract and from abstractions. The principle of constant formation remains the same when subdividing the distinguishing characteristics of the concept animal, the faculties of consciousness and locomotion are the conceptual common denominator of the subdivisions. Say that again, what? So the CCD oh, of- Oh, animal, okay, animal, yeah. The CCD of the subdivisions are say their means of consciousness and locomotion. Yeah. And but the specific measurements are narrowed. I think that yeah, they're I don't qualified know. by something else. So like they might be say qualified by say an anatomical or physiological characteristic. So which would oh, okay. say there's sweetness and we can um, qualify it by means of shape. Or color. Or color, whatever it might be. Okay. Because right. sweet things that are yellow could be a more narrower subdivision. Or you got sweet things that are yellow and, I don't know, sou and sometimes sour. Or grow on small trees could be a small, another distinction. Or, or whatever it might be. Or even an anatomical thing like big seeds versus little seeds. Right. It's okay. So, I mean, what grows on trees and is sweet can be qualified by color. And so that's. Would that be called an extra measurement? Extra? Sorry, if I mean it's an, some stupid construction. I mean it is another measurement, but that's kind of what we're saying. There's, they're qualified. The CCD right. is further qualified. I mean okay. the CCD of the subdivisions would be, say, consciousness and locomotion. And the CCD is retained, but it's further qualified. Yep. Okay. Still gotta come back to this. But that was good. Um, yeah. Yeah, that was. Did you? Let's see if we. I will just stop sharing.